Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men find the women of their dreams by teaching them how to approach women with confidence. Now, there's one show, a sitcom, that has got to be the finest show ever, at least ever I've seen in comedy history, that will teach you how to land women. And that's Big Bang Theory. Yes, we have all these analytical guys trying to attract the attention of pretty ladies, and eventually they do, but they go through a lot of hardship in getting there. None more than Leonard Hofstetter trying to date Penny, his neighbor across the hall. Let's fast forward to season seven, episode 13. Penny and Leonard are now a couple. They've kind of been a little on again, off again, and Leonard is super, super needy, while Penny is very confident in who she is when it comes to landing men. And why not? She's a beautiful lady. Well, Penny's going through some really struggling times in that she's been working at the Cheesecake Factory now for years. And she moved from Nebraska all the way to Los Angeles to pursue a successful acting career. Well, we know there's hundreds of thousands of men and women that do that probably every year. Meanwhile, she's gotten a very few successful acting parts and Leonard is concerned because Penny's decided, I'm quitting Cheesecake Factory and pursuing my career 100%, I'm all in. Well, Leonard is a, a typical analytic risk adverse type of personality and he's really concerned for her that she's going to fail and that she's going to maybe become an alcoholic or, or just become very, very depressed. And so here Leonard is sitting down with his friends, Howard and Amy, at the school cafeteria where they work, and they're talking about this issue. Meanwhile, Penny goes to the Cheesecake Factory to return her uniform and happens to call Leonard at that particular time. And he, of course, says, oh, hi, honey. And she says, well, hi, hi, Leonard. I'm over at the Cheesecake Factory. And boom, he instantly assumes she's trying to get her job back. And he says, oh, my God, Penny, I've been so worried about you. I'm so excited that you're getting your job back. And she's like, no, I'm not getting my job back. I'm here to return my uniform. And how dare you? You have no confidence in my ability to become an actress. <sighs> Leonard and gentlemen. We do this all the time. We hear something and guess what we do? We cut our ladies off and we go down this path that has nothing to do with what they're trying to say. Again, I go back to my teaching about listening to understand. Listen to what she says. Listen, let her finish what she's saying. Listen to what she says and listen to understand. In, in Howard, I mean, in, in, in Leonard's case, he was listening to respond. He wanted to tell Penny how much of a mistake he thinks she's making. Well, guess what? Do you think that led to a very good afternoon between the two of them? No. No. Uh, guys, we need to not only listen to understand, we need to also just support our ladies. They're, if they're that smart and you're with them and you think they're that great of a person, we need to trust their decisions and just give them support. So what would have been a better response for Leonard in that situation? Really just to do nothing, just to listen to her and say, honey, I'm so excited for you. I'm glad that you're pursuing your dreams to become a great actress. I know you can do this. Give it your all. Let me know if there's anything I can do. Instead, what Leonard did was he's worried about the future and he's blowing apart the moment that he had a chance to emotionally bond with Penny even more and build a stronger, more powerful relationship. So guys, next time your lady decides that she's going to pursue her dreams, let her. Because reality, guys, is a lot of men are out there pursuing their dreams. And you know, oftentimes most people fail, but we learn something from our failures. And in this case, Leonard and Penny eventually get back together later that night and Le Leonard apologizes and realizes, I want to support you. And then they have this wild evening of passionate sex. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, it's season seven, episode 13 of The Big Bang Theory. Watch it in its entirety because there's some great learning lessons in there. And again, if you want to know more about what it's take to become a mad, passionate lover and to pursue women, 
and the mistakes that they make in pursuing women and the relationships, it's a great show to watch. Meanwhile, gentlemen, don't forget to click that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.